Well, the government still wants us to transition to using electricity to heat our homes as it produces less carbon, but it's relaxed the timeline on replacing gas boilers and says around a fifth of homes will be exempt from a ban. It's also increased the grant available for air source heat pumps. Ben Schofield is outside a house that had one installed, but Ben, they may not be suitable for everyone. Uh, yes, uh, this is what we're talking about. These uh, heat pumps are going to do a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to moving us away from oil and gas boilers. Uh, this home's had uh, one for about four years. The homeowners run it as much as they can off the solar panels on the roof, uh, and they say they're pretty happy with it. It gives them all of the hot water for heating and washing that they need. They run like a fridge in reverse, and they can be really, really efficient. They're quite mainstream in parts of Europe. Uh, Scandinavian countries have quite a lot of them, and let's face it, they know a thing or two about keeping homes warm. Uh, but as other types of technology comes onto the market, and yes, you may need to make other additions to your home if you're going to have a heat pump, is it right that the government has apparently put all of its eggs into the heat pump basket? The only thing that we really knew about was heat pumps. It, it's in the news, it's all over the place. When Damien Lofthouse wanted to heat his Norwich home with greener energy, a heat pump looked to be the answer. We reached out to, uh, to a few companies for, for heat pump installations. But after in-depth surveys, the news wasn't positive. Every radiator would need to be replaced. Uh, we'd need planning permission for the heat pump installed because of the noise um, for the, for the neighbours. And it got to the point where it just wasn't really sustainable for us in terms of the, 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 the cost and the disruption that it would have caused for, for the house. Heat pumps have government backing as a way of reaching net zero. But Damien isn't alone. With quite a few properties, um, an air source, heat, or air source heat pump is going to require upgrading of radiators, uh, upgrading of pipes, potentially as far as needing to install underfloor heating as well. So it means the whole house can have a great deal of disruption. Nevertheless, the government's boiler upgrade scheme offered grants of £5,000 towards the cost of air source heat pumps. That's now increasing to £7,500. Heat pumps are also sold without VAT. But a recent House of Lords report said the scheme was seriously failing to deliver. In the East, since May last year, it's contributed to the cost of 2,770 heat pumps. The government's target is to install tens of thousands more within just a few years. Damien rejected the scheme, choosing one of these, a zero emission boiler that doesn't come with any financial incentives and whose manufacturer is critical of the government's approach. It's very one dimensional. It doesn't fully recognise the fact that every home in this country is different. There are lots of policies which, uh, which are restricting innovation. Um, you know, with new technologies like ours coming in, we're up against uh, VAT exemption applying to existing technologies like heat pumps, subsidies that only apply to heat pumps. Um, and for, for millions of homes out there for, for whom heat pumps don't work um, for a variety of reasons, those people are being excluded. This matters because our homes contribute more than a quarter of the UK's carbon footprint, and by far the biggest chunk of that comes from heating them. But one great Yarmouth company believes part of the solution, at least, could lie beneath our feet. We're obviously not in Great Yarmouth. Why are we in Hunstanton? Well, Hunstanton is one of the hottest spots for deep geothermal in the UK. Go on in, lower. Deep geothermal, wells up to 5,000 metres deep, like this test site in Yorkshire, which Gary Williams and his company says could provide communal heat for big new developments. Government is starting to wake up, but they're a long, long way behind where they need to be in supporting this industry. Making small changes isn't going to work. What needs to be done is a major change in the approach to how we manage heat and decarbonising heat and deep geothermal absolutely will play a major part in that. The government told us it's committed to its target of installing 600,000 heat pumps a year by 2028. It says they are a proven option of decarbonising heat. Ben Schofield, BBC Look East.